Hello, today we, we will see click and community. Finding community has various applications. Scientists look for co finding communities in given protein structures. We look for finding communities in various social networking graph and various other applications. So we use clique percolation method to find communities. Clique percolation method is a very common approach for analyzing the given network structures and finding overlapping communities. Before understanding CPM, let's first see what is a clique. Clique is a group of nodes in such a way that all nodes in a given graph are connected to each other. Cliques are always a complete graph. Now let's understand cliques with few examples. In cliques we have a value called k where k is equal to number of nodes. Let's draw a clique with value k is equal to 2. Clique with value k is equal to 2 will have two nodes, node 1 and node 2 and both the nodes will be connected to each other. Let's take one more example. A clique with value k is equal to 3. A clique with value k is equal to 3 will have 3 nodes, node 1, node 2 and node 3. And remember the definition of clique, all the nodes should be connected to each other. So see this, all the 3 nodes are connected to each other. If we remove this particular edge, it will no longer be a clique because in that case, this node and this node will not have a connection. So, so clique is a group of nodes which are connected to each other it is always a complete graph two cliques are called adjacent cliques if they share k minus one nodes uh, what is a community community is a group of cliques that have k minus one nodes in common let's try to understand this with the given diagram in this given diagram how many cliques of value k is equal to three can we find let's see so a clique with value k is equal to 3 will have 3 nodes, node 1, node 2, node 3 and all the nodes should be connected. So this makes the first clique in this given network structure. Do we have one more clique? Yes. See no, this node, this node and this node and all 3 nodes are connected. So in this given network structure we have 2 cliques. This is clique 1 and this is clique 2. These two cliques form a community. Why? Because they have these two nodes in common. This is clique 1 and this is clique 2. And both of these cliques have these two nodes in common. So they form a community. Let's try to understand this with an example. Okay. So here is a given network structure. How many cliques we have with value k is equal to 3? I repeat, how many cliques do we have in this given network structure with value k is equal to 3? So look here, the first clique with value k is equal to 3 is 1, 2, 3. Next is 1, 2, 8. This clique, 1, 2, 8. Then we have 2, 4, 5. This clique, 2, 4, 5. Then we have this clique, 2, 4, 6. Then we have this clique 2, 5, 6 and last one we have this clique 4, 5, 6. Will we have 3, 7, 6 as one clique? No. Why? Because we don't have a connection between nodes 3 and 6. So they cannot form a clique. Now these are the 6 cliques we have in this given network structure. How many communities do we have? Look at clique A and clique B. Do we have nodes in common? Yes. Node number 1 and 2 is common between clique A and clique B. Clique A has nodes 1, 2, 3. Clique B has node 1, 2, 8. They have two common nodes that is 1 and 2. So clique A and clique B form a community. Look here. Click A and click B form a community. Do we have more communities? Let's check. Look at click C and click D. We have two nodes in common again. Node number 2 and node number 4. So click C and click D are connected. Why? Because they have two nodes in common. Look at click D and click E. 246 and 256. Common nodes 22 and 66. Six. Again, 
click D and click E have two nodes in common which are node number 2 and node number 6. So D and E. Look at E and F. 5 and 6, 5 and 6. So E and F have two nodes in common. Look at D and E. They have 2 and 5 and 2 and 5 in common. So D and E. Look at D and F. They have 4 and 6 and 4 and 6 in common. So therefore, again, there's a connection. So in this given network structure, we have two communities, community number 1, A and B, and community number 2, C, D, E and F. Let's take one more example. Okay, yes, before we move ahead, do we have click with value k is equal to 4 in this graph? Yes, it is this over here. 2, 6, 5 and 4. 2, 6, 5 and 4 is a click with value k is equal to 4. We can also have 1, 3, 2 and 8. One more click with value k is equal to 4. Can we have 3, 7, 2 and 6 as a click with value k is equal to 4? No, because there is no connection between 3 and 6. Okay, let's take one more example. This is a given network structure. How many clicks with value k is equal to 3 we have? 1, 2, 3, 1, 3 and 4, 2, 5 and 6, 5, 6 and 7 and so on. You, can, you will find 8 clicks with value k is equal to 3 in this given network structure. Uh, what about communities? Look at this click and this click. We have 1 and 3 and 1 and 3 in common. So this makes a community. 1, 2, 3 and 1, 3, 4 are connected because they have 1 and 3 and 1 and 3 in common. Look at other nodes. 2, 5, 6 and 5, 6, 7. 5, 6 and 5, 6, two nodes in common. So 2, 5, 6 and 5, 6, 7 are connected. Look here. 5, 6, 7 and 5, 6, 8. 5, 6 and 5, 6 in common. So this is connected over here. After looking at all the cliques, we will have this community formed. So in this given network structure, we again have two communities, community number one, and this is the community number two. Let's take one more example. Look at this graph. How many cliques do we have with value k is equal to three? We will have one click ABC, we will have one click DEF and we will have one click GHI like this ABC, DEF and GHI. But do we have communities in this given graph? Let's see. Do we have any common node between C1 and C2? No. C2 and C3? No. C1 and C3? No. So in this given network structure, there are no communities. Why? because they don't have nodes in common. I hope this prob these problems are clear. Try to practice more problems on click. Thank you.